In this video, we're going to be looking at the shape of a raindrop, and also, this video will serve as a brief introduction to intermolecular forces. So if, if one were to perform a Google search of raindrops, uh, this, is, this is what you'd find. Notice that all of these uh, raindrop pictures are in the shape of a, of a tear. Even here, where it says real raindrop, you notice that um, it's been depicted kind of like a teardrop shape. It turns out that's not the case. A real raindrop looks something like this. Here's water clinging from a surface, and it's beginning to form a raindrop. So initially, you see it has a teardrop shape. But over time, using this high-speed camera, we actually see that a raindrop, in fact, has a spherical shape. So why does raindrop have a spherical shape instead of looking like a teardrop? Well, that's due to something called an intermolecular force, which we'll take a quick look at now. So if we were to draw the structure uh, for water, it would look like this. Recall that oxygen is partially negative and the hydrogens are partially positive. Now, if we had another molecule of water, uh, this positively charged hydrogen would be attracted to this negatively charged oxygen. So there would be an attraction that exists between these two water molecules. That attraction that exists, that's called an intermolecular force. We'll call it IMF for short. The word inter, that's a Latin word, and it means between. Now, this is important information to know because we want to define an intermolecular force very carefully, and we want to keep this in mind throughout the unit as we work through problems. So an intermolecular force occurs between molecules. So it's important to know this. A force that exists between molecules. Notice that this right here is the intermolecular force, the attraction of this water molecule to this water molecule. Let's distinguish that from something called the intra molecular force. An intramolecular force, that's a force that exists within the molecule. Intra means within. So that's a force that exists within a molecule. Uh, for example, ionic bonds and covalent bonds, stuff we'd already studied this year. So this here is a physical bond, a covalent bond between oxygen and hydrogen. This right here is an intramolecular force, and it's a covalent bond. This unit, we will not be talking about intramolecular forces. We will be talking about intermolecular forces. I just wanted to show the distinction here so it's clear what we're talking about. 